Have you ever felt confused or frustrated because you're not an extrovert and everybody tells you you should behave a certain way? I'm here with Jackie, who's volunteered and asked to do some tapping on some of these things. And Jackie, I'd love to hear your words about this. Um, I like people, but I, I don't like to be surrounded by people. And I guess sometimes I have trouble with groups. So when I look at somebody who's always with people and having parties and big groups, it makes me sad because I'm just not wired that way. Yeah. I, I'm Kathy Bertoli from the Intimacy Dojo and ThrivingNow.com. And Jackie, I agree that a lot of people have that struggle because what TV shows us, what media shows us, is the extroverts have the most fun. They're the most valued. Our culture right now really does emphasize if you're outgoing and popular, then, you know, of course that's the best thing. Whereas there's a lot of people that aren't just, just aren't wired that way, but it's easy to compare ourselves to each other. Um, when you think about you shared in your email about this that you had a, a, someone who close to you was having five baby showers and uh was it baby showers um yeah yeah or three baby showers it was a lot of baby showers yeah and our brain catches numbers it's really easy like i'm having one or i had zero and this person is having three or five it's like i feel less than there's that whole um, s status thing that our society can get caught up in and our primitive brain can get very caught up in too but what's true for you when you think about someone else being wired that way and you just like to feel peaceful that you're not someone who necessarily wants to have people around you all the time you're more of a home buddy or a quiet person introspective what do you notice in your body when you when you think about that well I, I do feel like I miss something by being the way that I am. So there's a fear of missing out or not getting what other people are getting? But most of the time I'm happy, you know, and I don't want to say I'm by myself all the time, but most of the time I'm happy with um, smaller groups or one-on-one. -on -one and, and I look at someone who's an extrovert and I think, how do they manage that many people? Yeah. And not get mad for this or bothered about this. And I think it's real that mm -hmm. they like that many people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, two showers or four showers or six showers, I don't even know that many people. Well, I think it helped me. I read the book Quiet. I don't know if you've read that. It's a really, it's a powerful book. And I'm forgetting the author's name right now. Um and they talk about the difference between extroverts and introverts in a way that really helped me understand. An introvert is someone who gets charged up, like gets recharged if they're tired, they get charged up again by having quiet time alone or maybe reading a book, watching TV, they don't, or maybe just with one friend. They're, they're, they want to be the quieter, more introspective kind of thing. An extrovert is someone who gets charged up, recharged by being around a lot of people. I'm personally somewhat somewhat in the middle. There's things I love to do with other people, but I get when I'm really overwhelmed and tired, I definitely want to be alone. I want everybody to leave me alone and I need quiet. And maybe just my cat or, you know, a walk in the country or something. And it sounds like you're someone who likes to spend more time alone when you're recharging. Does that feel true to you? I think that is true. I like people. Mm -hmm. I think my choice is I would be around people mm -hmm if we want to do the same thing, but yeah. I don't need to be around people to fill a need to be around people. Yeah. Like I'm okay by myself. Okay. But there's still that, still that feeling of missing out and not getting what other yes. people are getting. Yeah. And that can be a conflict, that conflict inside. Like it's, even though it's not right for me, society keeps telling me it's a good thing and I'm not yes. getting it. Okay. Yes. Do you feel that in any particular place in your body? If you, if you close your eyes and take a slow, deep breath, between my stomach and my heart so kind of in your solar plexus area your, yes. identi your identity your identity <laughs> and a lot of people hold identity issues there that would okay be right okay and what does it feel like there what are you noticing it, it's it feels like a lot of air okay I've not had that so it's like empty space or like yeah. okay cool all right let's play with it does it feel uncomfortable or is it just an no. uh, okay okay can you feel your feet on the floor and just kind of be present with your toes? Feel your butt yes. in your chair? Yes. Slow, deep breath again. And Jackie, as always, feel free to change my words if something else fits better for you. Okay.
Karate Chop, even though I do recharge by myself. Even though I do recharge by myself. And I like people to a certain extent. And I like people to a certain extent. I like certain people a lot. I like certain people a lot. And I'm afraid I'll miss out. And I am afraid I'll miss out. Even though society says all these things about being extroverted. Even though society says all these things about being extroverted. And implies that I'm more loved if I have more things happening. And implies I'm more loved if I have more things happening. I'm open to finding peace with myself. I'm open to finding peace with myself. And understanding what's right for me. And understanding and accepting what's right for me. Even though society pushes at me. Even though society pushes at me. And I'm afraid I didn't get the full experience. And I'm afraid I didn't get the full experience. I'm open to finding peace and calm. I'm open to finding peace and calm. And feeling loved by myself and the universe. And feeling loved by myself and the universe. Top of the head, I'm afraid I'm going to miss out. I'm afraid I'm going to miss out. Eyebrow, I didn't have five baby showers. I didn't have five baby showers. Side of the eye, in fact, I didn't have any. In fact, I didn't have any. Under the eye, and that still hurts. And that still hurts. Under the nose, I would have liked one baby shower. I would have liked one baby shower. Chin, but I feel ashamed that I didn't have more. But I feel sad that I didn't have any. Collarbone, I feel sad. I feel sad. Under the arm, all this grief. All this grief. Top of the head, and this feeling of air around my identity. And this feeling of air around my identity. Eyebrow, I'd like to feel a little more solid. I'd like to feel a little more solid. Side of the eye, I am clear that I don't want to spend time with people all the time. I am clear that I don't want to spend time with people all the time. Under the eye, sometimes they annoy me. Sometimes they annoy me. Under the nose, and they can be a lot of work. And they can be a lot of work. Chin, other people may not find them so much work. Other people may not find them so much work. Collarbone, and that's okay. And that's okay. Under the eye, there's things I'm good at that they're not. There are things that I'm good at that they're not. Top of the head, what if I could let myself be just as I am? What if I could let myself be just as I am? And know that I'm experiencing the right things for me. And know that I'm experiencing the right things for me. Take a nice, slow, deep breath. What are you noticing in your body? Uh, Not a change in my body, but as we were tapping, I was thinking that Facebook is a reminder of this all the time. Yes. Well, when people post their positive things and we don't always notice that one person's quiet and doesn't have anything exciting for weeks, we see all the different people with exciting things and feel like we should be having just that many exciting things. Well, somehow you're less than if you don't have a whole lot going on, even if the truth is you chose not to have a whole lot going on. Right, yeah. It, Facebook is about look at me kind of I'm an extrovert I'm doing these things with other people um, when you think about I, I know you've shared before about not having the baby shower or not having so many things to do what do you tell yourself about that well it's true that I felt sad about the baby shower but I think when I see people that have so many friends and they're parts of so many groups, Mm -hmm. it's more that I don't, I don't necessarily gravitate to it, but I don't know how they manage it. Okay. So when you think of trying to manage that so that you are like that, does, is there any draw to be like that? Or is it just like, that's heavy? It's like another language. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And is it okay that you don't speak that language? Sometimes it bothers me I don't speak it. Yeah, okay. And what bothers you about it? What are you it telling It looks like me? they're having so much fun. Okay. Karate chop. Even though it looks like they're having so much fun. It looks like they're, even though it looks like they're having so much fun. And I want part of the fun. And I want part of the fun. I don't know how to manage that many people. I don't know how to manage that many people. Even though I tell myself a story. Even though I tell myself a story. That they're having a lot of fun. That they're having a lot of fun. The truth is, I've been to parties that weren't so much fun. The truth is, I've been to parties that weren't so much fun. And I've been to ones that were a lot of fun. And I've been to ones that were a lot of fun. What if I don't have to manage people? 
What if I don't have to manage people? I just have to be aware of my own needs. I just have to be aware of my own needs. And do what's right for me. And do what's right for me. Top of that, I want all the fun. I want all the fun. I bro, they're having fun. They're having fun. Side of the eye, I'm certain of it. I'm certain of it. Under the eye, they said so on Facebook. <laughs> they said so on Facebook. Under the nose, and the internet is always right. And the internet is always right. Chin, I want to have that much fun. I want to have that much fun. Collarbone, but I don't think I'd have fun at parties all the time. But I don't think I'd have fun at parties all the time. Under the arm, I have sometimes. I have sometimes. Top of the head, but I don't want to push myself to be at parties all the time. But I don't want to push myself to be at parties all the time. Eyebrow, what if I let my guidance guide me? What if I let my guidance guide me? Side of the eye, what if I tuned into my intuition? What if I tuned into my intuition? Under the eye, my story is I have to manage all those people. My story is I have to manage all those people. Under the nose, that would be really hard. That would be really hard. Chin, what if I don't have to manage people? What if I don't have to manage people? Collarbone, what if I can just show up for myself? What if I can just show up for myself? Under the arm and do things that I think are fun. And do things that I think are fun. Top of the head and let the other people show up if they want. And let the other people show up if they want. I will. I have to manage them. I have to manage them. Side of the eye, that feels heavy. That feels heavy. Under the eye, and I don't think I'm an extrovert. And I don't think I'm an extrovert. Under the nose, I have two reasons not to live that life. I have two reasons not to live that life. Chin, I'm not really wired to live that life. I'm not really wired to live that life. Collarbone, and I'm telling myself I'd have to take care of everybody. And I'm telling myself I'd have to take care of everybody. Under the I might be willing to consider that second one. I might be willing to consider that second one. Top of the head, it may not be true. It may not be true. And I'm open to finding peace with the first. And I'm open to finding peace with the first. Take a nice deep breath. What are you noticing? You can tell me to go to hell if I'm totally wrong, too. No, 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 no. I started to think as we're tapping something else I had thought about before, and that is, I think... Maybe I'm not as easygoing as some people who have a lot of friends. And I'm not necessarily sure that I've met that many people I like that much to be a friend. Yeah. What, so what if maybe that's I'm okay? not skilled either. Yeah. Well, there's skill, and I think that some people are just like, I'm pretty selective about who I want to spend time with. I can go for, to a conference and be sociable with a lot of people, but the people that I want close to me, I'm pretty picky. I'm like, mm, you know, like I want people that are a really good match for me. Mm-hmm. And other people may not have that same same kind of feeling. What if that's okay? What if it's okay that we're different? That some people love having everybody just around them. And that some of us are a little like, hmm, I only want to drink the good wine. Well, it's funny that you said that because I was thinking the same thing. Like, I would only drink something that I actually really like. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Right. Um, But I think there are times I just miss being that easy with people. Now, that's the story that I'm telling myself about their life because I'm not privy maybe to when they get frustrated with people. But my perception of it is that they have an easier time than I do. And then that might mean because I'm too sensitive. Okay, so it sounds like we're coming to I'm too sensitive? Well, maybe. Yeah. So is it okay if we stop here and start a new recording? so that Because I want people to be able to tune into the parts that feel most appropriate for them. Sure. It's okay. Thanks, Jackie. Leave comments below if you have thoughts about this. We'd love to know.